I call upon the scientific community in our country, those who gave us nuclear weapons, to turn their great talents now to the cause of mankind and world peace, to give us the means of rendering these nuclear weapons impotent and obsolete. My fellow Americans, tonight we're launching an effort which holds the promise of changing the course of human history. There will be risks and results take time, but I believe we can do it. As we cross this threshold, I ask for your prayers and your support. I think it's time to stop and back up here. I really need to introduce you to this bad boy. This is the Brilliant Pebbles Concept Vehicle number one. Guess this might be a good time for a mini history lesson. First, before 1980 and during 1980, we were in a deadly game of Russian roulette with, well, the Russians with a program euphemistically called MAD, which stood for Mutually Assured Destruction. For every missile we deployed, the Russians would try to match or surpass us, which is what led to the arms race. The Strategic Defense Initiative, or as it was later called, Star Wars, was President Reagan's plan to put an impenetrable shield to protect the United States from nuclear attack. So, how do you go about doing that exactly? Time to go to the magic whiteboard. When a nuclear missile is launched, it can take less than 33 minutes to get here. Here being, let's say, your neighborhood. The first part of the path is the ascent stage. Then as the missile cruises over the edge of the atmosphere, it's in the mid-course stage. As it starts to descend back into the atmosphere, it's in its terminal stage. One of the SDI programs was designed to locate the missile in the ascent stage by seeing the hot rocket plume and sending a projectile to smash into the missile at or near the mid-course stage causing it to fall back into the atmosphere and burn up harmlessly. It had to reach and destroy the missile before the terminal stage because at that point, the nose cone popped off and the missile released as many as six MIRVs, which are the actual nuclear warheads. MIRV stands for Multiple Independently Targetable Reentry Vehicle. At that point, there would have been no way of stopping the attack because now you have six targets and one of them or two of them could be just decoys. Which brings us back to our vehicle and the reason we were launching it from Wallace Island, Virginia. It was planned that after the launch and staging, the second stage would keep a small amount of propellant and wait until the concept vehicle reached its position. Then the concept vehicle would find the second stage, then the second stage would light its engine and fly off to see if the concept vehicle could lock onto it and follow it. So that's what this mission was all about.
Final score? The launch was textbook. The brilliant Pebbles concept vehicle worked great. And we even got a space view of the East Coast as a bonus.